Good morning, roof pipe boot flashing. We're talking about that in this quick video. What not to do, what to avoid, and some things to be aware of. So this roof, we quoted this last fall or so. We got some really nice 50, 60 degree weather working in. So we're actually starting right now, uh, getting this one done. February 6th, I believe. And this boot was repaired by somebody in the past. And when I talk about repair, and when you are looking for a leak to repair, you wanna be confident you're fixing the leak and not just putting a bandit on something. You're doing something that's not even gonna do a thing. So let's switch this around, see what we can learn about pipe boots, PVC, flashing, things like that. So we just got this tore off here. Somebody had redone a pipe repair here, pipe boot repair. And the guys were like, hey, check this out. So I came over here and look at this. They never removed the old pipe. They simply put the pipe boot over the other pipe boot. Let's look at this pipe boot. It's aluminum. I like the aluminum. They don't rust. They don't crack. They don't fracture. They don't split like plastic boots over time. And then we're going to see what the weak link is right here, this gasket. It's actually not bad. I have no idea what's going on with this big notch. Oh, actually, never mind. That's where the, uh, the shim had come off the back because those are the decorative pieces. Yep, there's the decorative, uh, the shim on the back. But as far as the pipe boot itself, what was going on here? Usually you'll see a tear in this right here and it's solid all the way around, so that's not the issue. As long as it was shingled correctly, that wouldn't be the issue. What's going on? Well, I can tell you from experience, one of the most common things, especially with PVC, is a broken pipe. If you look right here, what do we got going on? We have a broken pipe. So, any rain coming in this, which is not much, as opposed to like a lot of rain coming off your roof and running in something done wrong on the roof deck here, it's just what rain hits this hole. So if you get one inch of rain, you have probably three, four inches of uh, rain, you know, surface area coming into this. It's not a lot, but it is enough to cause a problem down there. Furthermore, I want to look at this right here. I'm not a plumber, but if you look, this is a different type of T. It's not a standard T where it's flat and comes up. There's a V in here. You can see the lip right there. That sharp point coming up. Let me take my phone in there. And there's, a, there's an importance to this. Just trust me and bear with me here. See the bottom of that? If you can see where it notches up just a little bit. Set that right in there. And then we're going to talk about this pipe coming over goes down the vent so when you flush a toilet or drain a tub or anything air can suck in behind it so you don't suck your p-traps dry if you have any condensation or any rain coming down the pipe assuming it's done correctly it will flow into your sewer or septic if you're in the county now that little piece that notches up and comes back down it's more like a Y instead of a T what's the big deal with that a lot of people don't pay attention to this but you get condensation condensation builds up in this pipe rainwater comes down and let me switch back here so you guys can get a visual. This side here is going down into the wall. This side here goes over and probably connects another bathroom vent. I don't know if it's this other pipe. Nope, there's it goes another direction. I can't see. My guess is it probably runs that way to another room, another uh, uh, bathroom fixture or something. If they plumbed it with this here down yonder somewhere, the problem you get is all the condensation and rain that hits this V is now going to be stuck from the V off to the right. Why is that important, you might ask. If you're in an area where it gets below freezing and you have stagnant water from that high point over, you risk it freezing, expanding, and cracking a pipe. We see those a lot here in central Indiana. We get well below freezing for three, four months. I've seen a lot of cracked pipes in the attics. Make sure plumbing's done correctly. Make sure it's got the right amount of slope, not too much slope. Well, vent pipes, not a big deal, but sewer pipes, yeah, there's a rule of thumb. I don't know, I'm not a plumber, but I think it's something to learn from. Make sure you got good joints, good seals, make sure it's going the right direction, and you're not having a, a little point coming up catching water and condensation. Otherwise, you could potentially have an issue. So whoever did this, one, they could have like removed the old and redone it if they saw something. I don't know, wasn't here for it. You know, if you had a bad seal and they wanted to tuck one under, fine, I'm okay with that. But if you got a roof leak going on, fix the leak, figure out what's going on. It doesn't take much to grab the top of the pipe and wiggle it just a little bit. Even with all the roof and flashing shingles on, you can still kind of feel it shake and rock or give it a little twist test. And you could have uh, seen that, yep, that's bad, and really done a proper fix. In this case, it works out pretty good because we got the roof coming off. We're gonna yank the sheet up right here, push and rake the insulation back a little bit and fix this broken piece. We're going to have to now remove that elbow because there is some pipe I can put a coupler on. And we're gonna cut it about here, 
put a new elbow down, a new T in, and a new uh, spout coming up. And the reason they do this right here as well is if you run a little pipe up and you come into your cold air of your attic, that condensation rises, will freeze, uh, like frost up, restricting the airflow. That's why typically as soon as they come into your attic area, they try to expand to a larger uh, coupler, go to a larger pipe. So if you do get frost and condensation, it's going to give you more room to still breathe through. Although you do see a lot of older homes with little bitty copper pipes or old cast iron or, or galvanized pipes, but anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, well, much more to do here, but run to the store, get some plumbing parts. These guys keep going. I got a busy day. As I said, we got some really nice weather moved in this week, so we're going to try to get this job done. One more, it's going to be in the, about 60s, and then some strong 20, 40 mile hour winds. So, if you like the video, if you could give it a thumbs up and learn anything. If you got any questions, comment down below. Until next time, be safe. We'll see you on the next video.